So welcome to how to memorize names and faces. And before we get started, I just want to go through some of the reasons why you would even want this skill in the first place. You know, people around the world really dream of being able to easily memorize the names of the people they meet, but most people won't develop this ability even though it will increase their social success and create new opportunities and ultimately improve their lives immensely. And you know, it's not just about memorizing the names of the people that you meet at social functions or through work or even, you know, memorizing the name of a waitress or a waiter that has served on you can have incredible benefits when you can say goodbye to them at the door by name. Uh, the, the ramifications in your personal life just increase immensely. And it's not just about those names of people that you meet. You might want to be able to memorize the names of actors or musicians or writers or artists. There's all kinds of wonderful things that you can do when you have the ability to memorize names and recall them at will. And you'll be able to experience all kinds of nuances and layers of meaning in the relationships you have with people and the conversations you have because you'll be able to get the name of the different discussion points that you're talking about, about art or literature and so forth. And you'll be able to do it without forgetting things. Now, why is memorizing names such a struggle? Well, a lot of people th blame a lack of time because conversations go by too fast and other people, you know, they've heard about memorization techniques, but they think they're too hard. Uh, they try to memorize things by rote, by repeating the name over and over and over again, a dozen times or more, and they end up missing out on important points in the conversation as a result. And ultimately what happens when you're repeating someone's name in your head is that you actually look like you're not paying attention at all. So it's a really, 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 really useful skill to be able to hear a name once, instantly memorize it, and be able to recall it later whenever that you really want to, even months, weeks later. And this has been something that uh, a reader of one of my books mentioned recently. He said, I've worked through your book and I find it amazing. I'm struggling to believe this. I was at a meeting today with 20 people I've never met before and I used the first 20 stations of my memory palace and I've always struggled with names before but I managed today to get this right. It felt good. And absolutely, it feels good. That's from uh, a reader of one of my books named Stephen Bell, who was happy to give this quote for the purposes of this course. Uh, it absolutely is going to make you feel good. The biggest excuse of all that I have heard, and we've all said it, is that we just have a bad memory, and that's the reason why we haven't improved our memory skills. And you know, I really, really sympathize with this. I used to love claiming that I have a poor memory, and in fact, I did it all the time, and essentially what I was doing was hypnotizing myself to believe that I had a bad memory. But the fact of the matter is, is that nobody has a bad memory, or we all have a bad memory. You know, Harry Lorraine, the great world memory expert, he says that he has the best memory a thousand times better than anybody else, but he also has a memory that's a thousand times worse than anybody else when he's not using memorization techniques. And some of the things I'm going to teach you are based on universal principles that he also teaches, but I'm going to take things a step further in this course. And I developed a lot of these techniques that you're going to learn uh, after studying uh, because I became very, very irritated with, with what I thought was my poor memory, what I was hypnotizing myself to believe was my poor memory, until I decided to get out there and do something about it. So I studied memorization from people like Harry Lorraine and Dominic O'Brien, and all kinds of people have written about this going back 2,000 years. And I put it all together, and I really found some holes in the story of memorization techniques. And so I filled them up in my own particular way. It's called the Magnetic Memory Method, and it's... This course is specifically using the magnetic memory method to memorize names and faces with some really, really new technology, let's call it, to make it even better than the traditional memorization techniques. And this magnetic memory method will have you memorizing the names and faces of people at a very, very accelerated pace within just really a few short minutes of practicing it once you've learned the methods. I'm going to go into things in very, very fine detail in this course so you get it all, and you will no longer be struggling to learn or memorize one or two names at the next party you go to, but you'll be, you could memorize anyone's name and everyone's name, up to 500 people or more, and this is absolutely doable. So there's really a couple of obstacles that really stand between you and memorizing the name of every new person you meet. There's obstacles that stand between you and, and achieving this for yourself. And the first one that I encounter all the time through my newsletter and uh, people that I meet and coach 
is the belief that you don't need a dedicated memorization strategy for learning and memorizing names. People say this all the time. You know, repetition is indeed an important part of learning, and although I say a lot of things throughout my magnetic memory method work against rote learning, at the end of the day, there, there are times when it's appropriate, such as with music learning, to develop muscle memory and singing, because you want your mouth to have muscle memory and so forth. But it's really, really a shame that people use rote learning when it comes to memorizing names because they are, as I said before, concentrating on repeating the name instead of the uh, conversation. But we need to really face a simple fact. It's that this is a fantasy that simply repeating a name again and again is going to make it permanently stick in our minds. It's not going to do that. It's going to make us miss out on the conversation and maybe we'll get it when we need to recall the name later, but chances are we really aren't. But with a dedicated memorization strategy, you'll really be able to have dozens of names at your, not your fingertips, but at the tip of your tongue, just by willing them to be there using some very, very simple strategies. And as I said, beyond the traditional memorization techniques, which I'll teach you, there's even more powerful techniques that I've got in store for you. Now, another thing that is holding you back, perhaps, from acquiring this skill is just the false belief that memorization strategies won't work for you. And you know, people tell me all the time, ah, well, yeah, it all sounds great, it sounds like a magic bullet and so forth, but this is not going to work for me. I always respond with a very, very confident, yes, these techniques will work for you. And they will work for you if you follow the exercises and just give it a try, be open to it, be willing to experiment. The fact of the matter is, is that the very idea of using memorization techniques is already so memorable that it's hard to forget that there's this, you know, wonderful magical strategy or set of strategies that you can learn. And even if you just start to think about it, you'll already have started to improve your memory by realizing that, you know, amplifying shapes and uh, making crazy images and so forth is a way of making things more memorable. It just simply is. And you know, there's all kinds of good scientific evidence that support the use of memorization strategies. Richard C. Atkinson gave one study at Stanford and you know, he he himself talks about rote learning as being just a painful thing, writing things down over and over again on paper. He calls that a cheap memory device, and it's really worthless compared to just a few simple memorization strategies. So the idea that memorization strategies won't work for you is really unfortunate uh, if you hold that, because they work for anyone. They are based on universal principles, and as I'll talk in a different part of this course, they're really based on the idea that your mind is like a bike, uh, or memorization strategies are like a bicycle as well and you just got to adjust the handlebars and lower or raise the seat maybe put some oil on the wheels but if you take these universal strategies and you put them in your mind you will be riding this bike uh, before you know it now the third thing that sort of stands between you and acquiring this skill is just thinking that maybe memorization strategies are too much work to learn now realistically if you go through this entire course you're going to need about one and a half hours to learn the full memorization method that I'm teaching and a small amount of practice. It's not going to necessarily, you know, become a full-blown mastery system for you if you don't practice. And I'm going to teach you how to practice uh, in stress-free environments. And I'm going to teach you how to be stress-free in general using some specific strategies that will really uh, enhance your life in many ways uh, in terms of being relaxed in social functions, period, but also will aid the memorization process and make you more creative as a result. So as soon as you've really understood the principles of name memorization, you're going to be memorizing new names by the dozens and you're going to do it consistently and you're going to do it with speed and accuracy and it's really going to feel great and it's a system that's going to serve you for life and it can be extended to memorizing just about any information you could ever want so i really have a suggestion for you before you jump in and start the next video and start your journey towards having these advanced memorization skills for memorizing the names and uh, the faces of the people you meet is that you just got to believe in the power of your mind. When I started using memorization skills, as I told you, I constantly was telling myself that it was too difficult and my brain was ill-equipped. You know, I had whatever. I was an absent-minded professor now, but I was an absent-minded graduate student then and rather depressed and so on, and I acted as if I had been born with a poor memory and poor me, sob story. But we don't want to be like this. The ability to memorize all kinds of names with 100% accuracy really opened the door the doors of the world for me and it will do the same for you and you know we got to consider the importance of memorizing names it's just so important that we don't belittle ourselves or belittle belittle our memory powers 
our minds are very, very, very powerful, and yours is as powerful as mine. And by developing a very positive mental attitude, which you will get an even more positive attitude once you've learned the magnetic memory method, you know, you put in a small amount of effort that's easy and it's fun, and you can demonstrate it to your friends with, you know, what really is magic with your mind you're going to feel great and it's just an amazing thing and it's something you'll be able to use every single day for the rest of your life so with this advanced memorization system for memorizing names and then you know above all the biggest reason to do this is that you're going to be able to speak to people in a completely new way and you'll find yourself speaking with people you may have never approached otherwise and meeting them again years later with their name on your on the tip of your tongue and more than that not on the tip of your tongue in the sense that you can't recall it but that it's there available for you so you know if you're a business person you're going to engage in meetings in a new way you're going to meet new clients in a new way business partners and so forth if you're just a general social person you're going to be even more capable of navigating your way through conversations and really showing people that they have your attention and that you've paid attention to who they are so you're going to love adapting the magnetic memory method to your learning style, your way of being, and you're going to enjoy massive success as a result.